Accessories have had a legacy as long and complex as that of the headscarf. A symbol of modesty as well as rebellion, this garment has transcended time. For centuries, the headscarf has been worn in many styles for fashionable, religious, or practical purposes. Beloved by silver screen icons like Elizabeth Taylor, Anna Mae Wong, and Audrey Hepburn, this garment has had a glamorous connotation in some ways, but it's also been the center of political debates about religious head coverings and women's liberation. Born out of necessity, head coverings began in ancient Mesopotamian societies to protect the hair from the elements. Around the 13th century BC, ancient Assyrian text wrote into law that women, excluding the lower class and prostitutes, must cover their heads to signify a piety. As a result, the scarf became popular in religions that were born from that region, beginning with early Christians and Jews. In modern day, conservative religious groups uphold this tradition. In Islam, some interpret the Quran's verses about modesty to mean headscarves are obligatory, and some interpret them to mean they're a choice. Headscarves have also been a fashion staple, distinct from religious obligation, for decades. In 1910, French designers began to popularize colorful, luxurious head coverings. After the women's suffrage movement, women had more freedom in their fashion, and headscarves rose in popularity again. They were considered glamorous and practical, as women would wear them to keep their hair in place while riding in convertible cars. Hermes, a luxury brand known for their silk scarves, debuted their first scarf in 1937. It soon became a fixture in the upper echelon of society, even worn by royalty. World War II saw the rise of the utilitarian headscarf worn by women in factory jobs. The 1960s saw headscarves become a symbol of the counterculture and experimental styles. In the 90s, these accessories became associated with rap and R&B, with artists such as Jennifer Lopez and Destiny's Child wearing them in music videos and photo shoots. While this garment has had great cultural influence as a fashionable accessory, it has spurred controversy as a religious head covering. World governments have both mandated and banned the garments. Muslim women are often the center of this debate, with critics claiming that the scarf is a symbol of oppression. But this garment has existed for centuries for many purposes, and to some, it's an important cultural staple. Women should be able to wear or not wear these scarves because whether it's for fashion, function, or religious reasons, it's a choice, just like any other piece of cloth we put on our bodies. A garment that has stood the test of time, this accessory is versatile and influential. It has come to simultaneously symbolize glamor, piety, rebellion, and practicality, depending on the style. Brands such as Hermes, Dior, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, Bulgari, and Max Mara, which is the designer of the garment being modeled in this video, are best known for their silk scarves today. <laughs> 